What is going on guys? Noah here with Custom RC Mods. Welcome back to a new video. Today I have the 8th upgrade for the Traxxas Rustler here and that is Traxxas Part 6852X. And that is the full uh, rear drive shaft assembly for the Traxxas slash 4x4 and that's on the rear. And they don't look a lot different uh, from the stock ones, however they are a lot beefier. Um, it's a really a good upgrade, especially if you're going up to LiPo power and brushless systems like we have here in this Rustler. I haven't had any problems yet. Um, but as I run it more on higher traction surfaces as well as uh, with a obviously 3S LiPo and uh, tighter slipper clutch settings, uh, that's when you get your U-joints to snap and your drive shafts to twist. Uh, so I think that it's got good to go ahead and do this upgrade as a preventative measure. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that on here now. So first things first, let's go ahead and get these things open up and see what we're dealing with here. Um, essentially, uh, it's, uh, each one is only one drive shaft. We've got our little central pin grub screw um, screw right there, as well as the upper shaft. This is what bolts onto the transmission, the diff um, out drive right there. And then we have our axle um, and the other half just like that slide together and ba bam you have a drive shaft. But yeah, same thing over here. And for some reason, they sell these in individual packaging um, with one um, in each rather than a pair. But I think that's just because these are a little bit more expensive drive shafts, about um, 10 or $15 a piece. Um, so yeah, I found these on eBay uh, from RPP Hobby for $10, um, which is a fairly good deal. Um, pretty standard. But yeah, let's go ahead and focus our attention to the back of the wrestler here, uh, where we're going to go ahead and first start off by removing the rear wheels. All right, so with that done, now we have to go ahead and take off our hex hubs. And because I have the aluminum ones, I'm going to go ahead and tighten uh, or loosen my grub screw here. And we're just going to pull it off just like that. I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver once the grub screw has kind of been loosened out and just pry it off of there just like that. And then we can go ahead and take out the little axle bar just like so. All right, so now that we've freed the camber link from the axle carrier here, uh, it's time to go ahead and take off this front half shaft. And you can see since this is a little bit of a tighter fit um, with the new bearings that I have installed, I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. You can see the half shaft comes apart like that and then push down. And also make sure to observe for the Teflon washer. These are brand new bearings, so you can see the bearing kind of stuck on there. Just go ahead and pull that off and reinstall it into the hub carrier like so. Um, and for this side, I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, Phillips head um, you know, screw gun or screwdriver, whatever you have, and just move the two uh, gear cover screws so we can access the upper uh, shaft connector. Then we're also going to go ahead and remove the spur gear um, right here so we can get access to uh, the U-joint um, kind of connection there. You're going to have to hold your axles um, still so you can get this nut all the way off and pull the gear um, off just like that. And that's going to come off just like that. Then as you can see, uh, we have somewhat of an access to our, um, to our little grub screw right here that we can go ahead and take off. And there we have that. And finally, we can get to this little upper half shaft right here. Um, so there we have the old ones. Make sure to remove the Teflon washer um, on the lower axle right there. And now let's go ahead and get a new one right here. We're going to start off with the upper um, yet again. And we're just going to go ahead and do what we kind of did there. We're going to shimmy it backwards in. So take your um, needle nose right there. Observe which side has the threads. And then now we can reinstall, of course, our uh, slipper clutch assembly. So um, the little retainer piece right there. Then we get our pads. Make sure to line up the grooves. Then the actual gear itself. Just like that. Make sure it meshes back in with the pinion how you want it. Spring. Then tighten it down. Holding your new half shaft on there. Once it's tightened down all the way, do about a half turn open there and you should be pretty good to go. But now uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put in our lower half shaft just like that. Take a Teflon washer, make sure to put it on the axle before it goes into the bearing. Then slide it through the hub carrier. Then take another Teflon washer, just like so. And your axle bar. Then the hex hub. Torque that down. Right like 
that so it doesn't come off. Finally, we can go ahead and take the camber link, screw, a little washer, just like that. And then go ahead and put on our gear cover. And with that done, now we can repeat the exact same process on the other side. And let me tell you, it will be a lot easier to access that out drive. Uh, so it's gonna go a little bit smoother. All right, so with that complete, you can see these are the old drive shafts that we will be leaving behind right here. They're pretty beat up, and they're not quite as beefy, um, in, especially with the U-joints as the newer ones. And these look really clean right here. Obviously, um, as soon as I start running it, they'll just look like the old ones. Um, however, they're going to be a lot more durable and give a lot better performance, especially on 3S LiPo uh, with this Russell. So I'm super, super excited for that. And I can't wait to go running with this thing with that added peace of mind uh, that my drive shafts aren't just going to snap on me. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you'd like to pick up a set of these drive shafts, make sure to go ahead and check the link in the description below. Any questions or comments you have, uh, please go ahead and let me know down in the uh, comments section below. And that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.